Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So the last time we talked about the Webelet Anchor and now we're gonna talk about the Quad, which is not seen nearly as often as any other anchor configuration, but it's very, very useful. The reason you don't see it very often is because it's only really applicable to um, if you're building a top rope anchor or if you're belaying off this anchor and you've got two bomber bolts in the wall. Um, so, Essentially what we've got here is a sling, so it's about three meters in length, um, seven millimeter nylon accessory cord here, joined together with a double fisherman's. And so it's, it's doubled up in length as you can see. And what we want to do is basically um, tie two limiting knots here. So very similar to kind of the, the sliding X um, motif. So we'll tie an overhand knot here and we've got to go kind of wide because there's so much material that we're dealing with. And essentially the quad, the quad is basically your, your best friend if you, um, if you have two bolts to work with and you're confident that they will hold because in this configuration here, uh, with good pieces in the wall, I mean, this is basically indestructible. It, it, it really is a solid anchor. So we'll tie this limiting knot here Right there, we'll do an overhand. And the nice thing about it is it's very simple to use. I mean, you could even pre-tie your cordelette so you can just, you know, have it uh, hanging on your harness and then just clip it in whenever. So there's the basic configuration. Okay, so the knots are a little bit uneven, but it's, it's okay. And then you have essentially four, four little strands here. You wanna clip three of them, okay? Whatever you do, do not make the mistake of clipping all of them together if you're doing it quickly or in haste because if one arm fails, then you're in serious trouble. So let's say in the unlikely event, you know, the, the cordelette breaks or the, the piece blows, then you're in massive trouble because then, then you're just gonna fall. Um, there's nothing actually to stop the, the carabiner from coming out. So you're clipping three instead of four to uh, ensure that redundancy. So that if this piece blows, um, then the carabiner will simply hit the knot and there you're still protected. Um, let's clip that back in. Obviously it's got all the advantages of a sliding X anchor um, in that you've got that dynamic equalization there so you can belay and shift your position around um, or if you're top roping the climber can uh, safely traverse off to the side and you've still got that equalization with these limiting knots here so you don't get that extension and catastrophic failure. So there we go. It's a very simple anchor, but very, very effective. And uh, again, if you're top roping or sport climbing and you've got good pieces, I would seriously recommend it. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it for anchors. Um, for now, we might in the next video look at making an anchor out of your climbing rope, which is uh, again, another level. Um, but thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.